How China's one small step could be a giant leap for humanity, creating an artificial sun. Yes, you heard that right. <laughs> Rumours have been pouring in that China has just launched its artificial sun into space. A video circulating online shows a bright yellow ball lighting up the night sky while ascending to the clouds. Could this be the artificial sun China has been working on for the last few years? If so, what purpose is this artificial sun meant to serve? And most of all, what are the possible consequences of having two suns? Stay tuned to this video as we discuss all these and more. The sun is the most vital part of our existence here on Earth. Without it, life on Earth will not be possible. From providing light, heat and warmth to making the growth of plants possible, the sun's usefulness is endless. It makes up about 99% of the solar system. Have you ever wondered why the planets orbit around the sun? Well, it's because the sun is a life-giving star. But for a long time now, China has wished for a sun of its own, an artificial sun. In case you're wondering why, it's all about power. Now, I don't mean political power, but nuclear-generated power, the kind our sun utilizes to give off heat and light. The sun is the largest star in the solar system. It accounts for about 99.8% of the mass of the entire solar system. The sun's mass is about 333,000 times that of the Earth. The sun's radius measures 696,000 kilometers, which makes it 109 times that of the Earth. Regarding temperature, the surface of the sun is measured to be about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, but its core is far hotter, measuring more than 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Now that's a whole lot of heat. The pressure within the sun's core is estimated to be the equivalent of 250 billion atmospheres or 15.7 million Kelvin. These extreme temperatures and pressures allow the fusion of four protons into one alpha particle. Scientists have explained that not all this heat gets to the Earth, a good portion of it radiates into space. Knowing these details about the Sun, how similar is China's Sun to the real one? And how much of the Sun's unique properties can it replicate? China's Artificial Sun China's Artificial Sun is a lot similar to our Sun. In fact, it's more than five times hotter than the actual Sun. China's Artificial Sun works just like the Sun. You see, the sun creates solar energy by nuclear fusion inside its core. The sun is mainly composed of hydrogen and helium. The nuclear fusion reactions in the sun convert hydrogen into helium. In other words, the protons of hydrogen atoms collide in the sun's core and fuse to create helium atoms in a process called proton-proton chain reaction. This reaction releases an enormous amount of energy every time it takes place, and it is the source of the sun's energy. Scientists have proven that every second, the Sun converts 600 million tons of hydrogen into 590 million tons of helium. The missing 4 million tons account for the massive energy released. So every second a proton-proton reaction takes place, the Sun releases about 4 million tons of energy. You may want to ask, can China's artificial Sun keep up with the Sun? Well, yes, it can. Ordinarily, to match the energy produced by the sun, you'd have to explode 100 billion tons of dynamite every second. But China's sun uses the same technique the sun employs to generate energy, the fusion of nuclear particles. How exactly does this work? It's a complex process involving the use of magnets and plasma. The official name of China's artificial sun project is Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak, EAST. Contrary to what most people think, EAST is not a large burning ball of fire like the sun. In simple terms, EAST is a donut-shaped nuclear reactor chamber where plasma is heated up and trapped with powerful magnetic fields. The plasma here is hydrogen plasma, which radiates a purple glow. Inside the EAST, lasers are used to heat this plasma, which can be heavy hydrogen atoms like deuterium and tritium, to millions of degrees Celsius. These extreme temperatures are similar to those present in the Sun's core, so they provide the perfect environment for nuclear fusion. Once these ultra-high temperatures are reached, the atoms inside the tokamak will start smashing together, releasing tremendous amounts of energy as they do so. Guess you'd like to know that the term tokamak is an acronym for toroidal chamber with magnetic coils. A tokamak is a machine that uses magnetic fields to confine a plasma in a torus shape. Replicating the sun is no small task. 
The tokamak design is what allows scientists to not only recreate the conditions inside the sun, but also carry out similar reactions. Scientists see the tokamak as the leading concept for future fusion power plants. In a tokamak, magnetic field coils can find plasma particles, allowing the plasma to reach the conditions necessary for fusion reactions. Every tokamak, including East, has a donut-shaped vacuum chamber where gaseous hydrogen fuel is placed under extreme heat and pressure, turning it into plasma. And plasma is any hot, electrically charged gas. In the East, a powerful electrical current is run through the vessel to ionize the gaseous hydrogen fuel and form a plasma. As the plasma particles become energized and collide with one another, they also release heat. The additional heating method, laser heating technology, finally helps bring the plasma to fusion temperatures close to 300 million degrees Celsius. At these temperatures, the particles become highly energized and fuse easily, releasing colossal amounts of energy. Inside a tokamak, scientists control the charged plasma particles using the massive magnetic coils placed around the chamber. These magnetic coils also prevent a nuclear meltdown of the chamber by the hot plasma. China has surely broken a record and set the pace for future artificial sun projects, but this achievement came at a high cost. So far, China has spent about $1 trillion on the East project. If you're still wondering why a country like China should go through all this trouble and spend such a huge amount of money on a single project, the answer is that it's all an effort to generate clean, limitless energy. The world has witnessed much damage from fossil fuels. From air pollution to ozone degradation, the list goes on and on. Rather than seek a new natural resource to exploit, China decided to mimic the natural reactions occurring within stars to produce unlimited clean energy. A typical artificial sun would produce no fossil fuels, no waste materials, and would last a really long time, just like our sun, which has been around for billions of years. It may interest you that China is not the first country to try its hands on a nuclear sun. For over 70 years, scientists have sought to carry out nuclear fusion reactions in a safe and efficient way that can produce commercial nuclear energy without any risks. The problem has always been in keeping the plasma away from the chamber's walls, because contact between the hot, electrically charged plasma and the walls of the reactor can cause a serious meltdown. Despite this, they knew they needed to get the plasma temperatures up for any nuclear fusion to occur and so they had to devise a means of handling plasma that's hot enough to fuse. The truth is that fusion reactors like the East need to operate under very high temperatures hotter than the Sun because there isn't enough pressure to support the reaction. The Sun has a core pressure of 15 million Kelvin. Getting a fusion reactor to such pressure levels is nearly impossible, so tokamaks must work at much lower pressures than the Sun. Again, there wasn't a seemingly possible way to utilize lasers and magnetic fields to control plasma without ruining the fusion process. These were the issues on the ground until China had the breakthrough, earning a reputation for building the world's first artificial sun. How efficient is China's artificial sun? The sun's surface releases 63 million watts of energy per square meter, but by the time the energy travels 93 million miles to reach Earth, it is diminished to 1,370 watts per square meter. There are no actual estimates of how much energy East will be able to generate. Deuterium, a substance needed to fuel East, can be obtained from Earth's oceans. One liter of seawater potentially has enough fusion material to produce energy equivalent to 300 liters of gasoline. Since our ocean is pretty much endless, it's believed that China's artificial sun would provide a near-unlimited energy supply. No doubt this recent feat has proven that this might just be the case. You see, China's sun managed to superheat plasma to temperatures five times hotter than the sun in the reactor. This feat was held for more than 17 minutes. The actual numbers are 158 million degrees Fahrenheit for 1056 seconds. The heat in the sun's core is just 27 million degrees Fahrenheit so you can see how much of an achievement this was for China's East reactor. East broke its own record, which it set in 2021 when it ran for 101 seconds at 216 million degrees Fahrenheit. The entire science community celebrated this achievement because it meant that the dream of creating an unlimited source of clean energy was within reach. The first notable record performance for any tokamak reactor was held by France's Tour Supra Tokamak. It maintained similar temperatures for 390 seconds in 2003. Since then, no other nuclear reactor has come close to China's Super Tomatak. 
With the kind of extreme temperatures the East handles, you may be afraid if China's artificial sun is safe. Well, based on information from scientists working on this project, the East is safe. Modern-day tokamaks typically contain less than one-tenth of one gram of hydrogen at any moment. So, the amount of hydrogen inside the chamber is too insignificant to cause issues. If, for any reason, a disruption occurs during a reaction, the reaction immediately cools down and stops. This makes a nuclear explosion near impossible in a tokamak. So, as you can see, a fusion process in a tokamak like East is quite safe. But despite this, scientists are still going the extra mile to build additional safety measures into fusion power plant designs. These safety measures will ensure that even if a cataclysmic breach occurs in a tokamak, it would only create small radioactivity problems outside of the plant. How long will China's sun last after launch? Our sun is about 4.5 billion years old, yet it's one of the youngest stars in space. It is one of the over 100 billion stars in our Milky Way galaxy, and it belongs to the generation of stars known as Population One. Scientists have verified that the sun will keep burning for another 5 billion years. But how long will China's sun last? Well, no one can say for now. How long East can stay in operation hasn't really been divulged to the public. But if the project gets developed to its full potential, we may be able to use this artificial sun for thousands of years. Lithium, the substance from which we get tritium and deuterium used in reactors, is abundant in the earth and the sea. And so, we'll never have to worry about feeding the East with hydrogen protons for nuclear reaction. The amount of lithium on Earth can feed China's artificial sun for millions of years. The only issue would be in maintaining the parts of the tokamak. So far, there hasn't been any cause for alarm with the operation of the Chinese sun. Firstly, the reactions in the East aren't radioactive. Plus, helium isn't dangerous to the environment. So even if East were to be launched into the atmosphere as most people think it will be, it wouldn't cause any problems. Or would it? Well, that's where it gets tricky. You see, this is a record-breaking invention, so it isn't very logical to jump into conclusions. We've learned many times that it can be risky to play with nature. For instance, recently, the Large Hadron Collider was blamed for creating a crack in the Earth's magnetic field. This was a side effect no one foresaw. And something similar may happen when China finally puts its artificial sun into full operation. So at the end of the day, it's best to keep an open mind. If you're worried about the potential consequences China's sun will have on our atmosphere, wait till we have two functioning artificial suns. You see, China's artificial sun has inspired other countries on the possibility of a clean nuclear power source. And now an even bigger fusion project known as ITER, the International Experimental Reactor, is being built in Marseille, France. This program involves 35 countries, including the UK, China, India and the USA. So far, the project seems to be going well, thanks to the lessons learned during the development of China's East project. However, to scale things up, ITER is equipped with the world's most powerful magnet. It can produce a magnetic field that is 280,000 times stronger than the one produced by the Earth. Why use such a powerful magnet? Remember that a strong magnetic field is necessary to control the tokamak's hot, high-energy plasma. The internal volume of the ITER tokamak is outstanding, as it's said to have a plasma volume of 830 cubic meters. This huge volume of plasma will enable it to produce a burning plasma in which the heat energy needed to sustain the fusion reaction is produced by the alpha particles generated during the fusion process. In other words, it will be a self-sustaining reactor, something never done before. The ITER designers claim that putting 50 megawatts of energy into the system will produce 500 megawatts. Work is ongoing to ensure that everything regarding the production and control of such a self-heated plasma is perfected. Inventions like these have been the dream of fusion research for close to a decade. Now, it's almost within grasp. The IATA fusion reactor will come online in 2025. When it does, it will usher us into a new era, an era of harnessing star power on Earth. China is even set to develop another tokamak in the early 2030s. So you can see, a new era is dawning on us. But many fear that our ambition for extraordinary means of power supply will break something in the Earth. Like how the Large Hadron Collider broke the Earth's magnetic field. What do you think? Will these artificial suns cause unforeseen catastrophes on Earth? I leave that question to you. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content. I'll see you there.